Backyard Garden, July 2021, Cambridge, Ontario. Weeping Mulberry. Weeping white pine. Gypsy moth. Bug catcher. herbs the little kids that walk by with their parents like to stop here and check to see what they can see that intrigues them Lizard. Dinosaur. The astilbe is not flowering anymore, but the flowers that are left behind are still beautiful. Cats are popular at this house. The lawnmower. And the nukshuk. A shrunken head. Petrified wood from New Brunswick. A smoke bush. And a larch tree. Or a tamarack, you can call it whatever. Lots of bird baths, lots of birds. Glass. Azalea, notice the labels. It's nice to know what they are, especially when you're old and you can't remember. Mint, if you plant mint, be careful. It spreads, it's prolific. And I think there's about 30 different kinds. Peppermint, chocolate mint, spearmint, lemon mint. Garlic mint. In fact, there's some garlic. Remember, we eat the root. We could eat the stem and we could eat those too. Joe pie weed. Joe pie weed grows quite tall and it spreads too, but it's quite attractive. It stands up well. So we have A birch tree here with some chimes on it. Very popular with the neutral Indians that lived in this area hundreds of years ago. And the rhubarb. Oh, it's time to pull the rhubarb 
and cook it. Of course, you only eat the stems. You don't eat the leaves. They're poisonous. But as you pull it out, you just, you don't cut it off. You pull it and then it'll grow even bigger and better. That's a house plant. I wonder if it's labeled. Good work, Bougainvillea. I need to label things. Even some vegetables, beans, tomatoes, kale. You just pinch the leaves off, wash them, dry them in the sun, freeze them, and eat them. Great, great vegetable. Beets, cucumbers, peas, catnip, more tomatoes, lettuce. That's one package of lettuce in that pot, and it's delicious. Another smoke bush, we call this the dancing bush in the yard. It looks like a couple dancing. A few house plants here, purple heart. That looks like a gourd of sorts, could be a pumpkin. Norfolk pine. Is this one which is crazy? If you just leave it alone and don't water it too much, it just grows like no tomorrow. And I think I labeled it in there. What did I call it? It's a devil's bark bone, a spurge of sorts. It's a house plant and it's starting to rain, spider plant, and then my row of hostas. All being watched over by the famous, world famous, Twyla May Cat right there. Twyla May, you're doing a great job. Don't let those chipmunks eat the hosta roots even though they have a house underneath them. Some more annuals that are doing well and looking beautiful. There's an eggplant. Cut leaf maple. Service berry bush, berries are gone. The birds loved it, especially the robins. And the fern garden. You plant a few and that's what you get. You can contain them, they're easy to pull out. Share them with your neighbors. There's my workstation down there for working on the plants, house plants and garden plants. More tomatoes, a little bit of a rock shrine going on down here. Periwinkle. I'm going to try to keep the periwinkle from covering the path completely. And the driftwood, of course. Lots of beautiful driftwood obtained from Lake Huron Coast. Snake plant, they don't like much water and they grow very tall. If you give them too much water, they just die. And the ferns have, have loved it. 
Anyway, that's July.